Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're all having a good Thursday. It's a pretty sunny day in Indy, um, but it is kind of chilly. Just gonna be real with you. And I'm on my way to the garage. So I'm on my lunch break. I'm gonna go to the garage and see what they got there. There's tons of stuff there, so I'm gonna grab lunch there and also just go out for a walk. Because I work from home and I work at a desk, I'm trying just to get out and see the sun and stuff. So be, be near the sun. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going there. We'll see, we'll see what I get. So yes, so last night I got my homework done. It was some of the hardest homework I've done in the, probably the past three years, but I'm glad I did it. It was a quiz and it was a nightmare, but I'm glad it's over. And yeah, it, very complicated. It's like, it was like math and stuff and equate, well not equate, maybe it was equations. It was like formulas, okay? And I had to figure out the best way to uh, do a certain like supply chain model or something I don't really know so I did that and I'm gonna cross over here so I did that very hard so for me you can hopefully you can hear me you can okay I can remember random facts really well but when it comes to like math you're done like if uh, I can't do it if you tell me, like, for example, uh, like Kroger sold 112 million Hershey bars, I'm gonna remember that last year, or like in 1996. I'm gonna remember that the rest of my life for some reason. But if you try to tell me, you know, a uh, formula to remember a something, I won't remember it. I just, I mean, I can. It's just. It's just way more, it's just harder for me. So I just like random facts more than I actually like math. So, but I would say probably maybe some people, a lot of people are like that. I mean, unless you love math a lot, I guess. And, oh, I found this, uh, so, okay. I started watching Weird History last night on YouTube and I really like Weird History. But uh, didn't know if, what that car was doing. So I don't remember what I was saying, but uh, I was watching Weird History. I was learning about the Manhattan Project, Al Capone. I found it very interesting. It was very good. And I was looking up, oh, I, start, I watched the last episode of Red Oaks. I rewatched it, I think. I didn't finish it all the way, but if you've never seen Red Oaks, it's on Amazon Prime and it is a very good show so i've really enjoyed it um i watched it maybe two or three years ago and i guess i just never fully finished the last episode but it's really good also i'm just someone who just i just do weird stuff like that i don't know why i just did but i finished it last night and i like it so it's very nostalgic very coming of age type feel um it's a great show to start in the summer. So Red Oaks, it's on Amazon. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. I don't know, but I liked it, so. Um, but with that, I started looking up, oh, there's an Aston Martin. See the Aston Martin? Cool. Well, okay, let me just finish this before I go inside. I found this website, and I'm sure there's tons of websites that do this, but it's i'll have to i have to tell you at some point okay i'll probably put the website that i'm about to mention on the screen maybe i don't know but it's a website that uh, helps you find movies that are similar or shows that are similar to each other and i really like it and like people upvote it like oh this is good and similar so i was looking for shows similar to red oaks and i might watch one i don't know but i don't remember any shows that were similar but i just like the website so now I'm going into the garage and we'll go from there. I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone. So I am back from the garage. I am going back to the apartment. 
I'm excited to uh, just eat something and then get back to work, you know? So I'm really hungry right now. And yeah, I'm, I have class tonight. So I think that will be good. I'm prepared, so that's very helpful. And oh, I'm as prepared as I can be. I got a very big group project this weekend. So I assume uh, I'm gonna be consumed by that Friday night and Saturday. So I don't really know what I'm doing on Sunday unless Emily has plans, which uh, might be the case. Like we might go out with friends or something, I don't know. Okay, so here is a show that I watched uh, last year and I really enjoyed. And it's called Dirk Gently's Holistic, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. I really liked it. It's, I think it's on Hulu. You might not like it. It's a little weird, um, but it's a, I think it's a British comedy or something. I don't know. Elijah Woods is in it and it's really fun. I, lo I really enjoyed it. And I was really bummed when it ended, like really bummed. So yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was definitely, you could tell it was lower budget, but it was still very enjoyable in my opinion. So if I could find a show like that, and there is one show that is similar to that, but it's very hard to find. So I think I would have to have a, it's not, it's not that hard to find, okay? It's just, I don't wanna get a VPN to get it through Hulu or Netflix in another country. So yeah, that's, that's what I mean. That, that's just a lot of drama. Also look at this thing. Wonder what it is, I, I really don't know. It's probably some steam pressure, water pressure, no idea, no idea. But it looks very fancy. So, and it also looks kind of fake. You know, it looked, because the fan was painted, I'm sure it's just like a fancy water thing or something, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going back to the apartment. I'll see you very soon. It's very windy today and it feels like it's getting colder, so that's kind of weird. But maybe it's gonna storm, I don't know. Okay, I'll see you soon, bye. Hello everyone, so uh, it, I'm back in the apartment. It's after my work hours. I have class in about 10 minutes, so I may, this is gonna be really fast. Um, I uh, am having dinner right now and that's what I'm doing. Um, I wanna show you this though. So the other day I was walking around Indy and I didn't have my camera, but I took a picture of this pottery, like whatever. Okay, I saw this on the road, okay? It's like a, a, a flower pot and I think that's kale in the middle of it. Okay, I might be wrong on that, but that looks like kale to me. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like dinosaur kale. I'm gonna to try to zoom in. I don't know if you can see it, so this might be a little not that great. Isn't that so interesting? I And uh, I don't know, I forget where I was at, but they had these pots of flowers. I'm sure it was in, some, it was in front of some business, but they had the pot of flowers all across the road. And I'm like, oh, that's so interesting because that, to me, looks like kale. So they're using kale as uh, flower arrangements. Maybe, I don't know. I asked Matthew if he thought it was kale and he said no, but I think he might have just been disagreeing with me just to disagree. So, yeah, so that happened. And um, what else? Oh, I haven't talked about this. I mean, it's not that crazy, but I'm excited for the Mortal Kombat movie. Just because I watched the trailer and I was slightly interested so I might watch the movie tomorrow. So it comes out on HBO or you could go to the movie theater to watch it. I know it's not most people's thing, I get it. And it may not even be my thing, I may not even like it. Like I'm not someone who, I really, to be honest, I'm not a movie person. Um, I like things I can invest in and it's like a long-term show or it's giving me information, so. 
I don't know if Mortal Kombat does that, but it, it might be cool to watch. So I'm interested. If I don't like it, I'll just, I won't watch it, whatever. So I'm excited for that. And um, that's all. So I'm gonna go get ready for my class. I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone. So I am out of class. It went very well. I learned a lot, prob I mean, definitely. And it was very long. Um, class consumes a lot of brain power and I know I'm going to sleep very well tonight. Um, it just does you know, your brain uses so much energy, at least that's what I've heard, and it can make you really tired. That, that happened last night. I was up until maybe midnight, and I know that's not very late, but I was focusing on something for probably three or four hours, and it was crazy. Yeah, so I was focusing on homework, and I was super tired, very tired. And I'm not at that level yet. Okay, I'm moving on from this topic. Here's something I want to talk about, and that is... Mindhunter season three is very possible. Okay, so that's, I'm very excited about that. I love Mindhunter. I think it's a great show. Um, I I'm think it's the reason it's not being created was because it didn't reach the, I guess, acclaim that it was supposed to. It, it wasn't as popular as Netflix was hoping, but the director is very, I, I don't really know why they're making it again. I mean, it's an amazing show, but I guess the director just has enough clout. He's just well known enough that they're gonna give it another shot, maybe. It, but it's all on the director's terms. Like he's a very, uh, apparently he's like very particular and all of this and it works around his schedule. So that would be interesting. I hope it does come out though. I hope season three, Mindhunter uh, comes out. I'm very excited if they do. And then I was reading that Netflix has a 17, is it 17? 17 billion dollar uh, budget for 2021 for new content. I, I feel like that's a ton of money. That's so much money. 17 billion for new content. That's crazy. Oh, I mean, man, I wonder what, I wonder what they're gonna do. I, I hope they make some really, really good you know, decent shows. I mean, if you think about Lord of the Rings, like I mentioned before, season one of the new Amazon show, Lord of the Rings, cost 400 million. I think Mandalorian, Mandalorian the uh, per episode, um, well, I think season one of Mandalorian, I might be, I, I don't remember, was it 100 million maybe? Anyways, it'll be interesting to see if Netflix creates any shows that are of that, standard. I doubt they will. I don't know. I don't know if they will. Who knows? So, but also I wonder how much of money of that goes back into renewing, you know, TV shows that they already have. So maybe new content also means purchasing items that are already made that are not in their subscription feed or renewing a contract. I mean, or stuff, you know, stuff like that. So, that would be interesting to see. I feel like Netflix will, uh, you know they have to cap out at some point because there's all these streaming services that, uh, you know, I f HBO is giving them a good run for their money. I don't know how many of you really care about this, but I saw crypto was falling and I don't know how far it's gonna go, but last time I mentioned crypto in a video, it was at 63,000, which was a week ago. As of today, to, of tonight at 8.30 p.m., it is 51,992, and um, it, hit a, it hit, I mean, it, so it went down, you know? It went down pretty low. It's down 17% uh, in a week. So that's kind of crazy. I think the lowest point was 51,619 today. And it's been falling as you, I mean, as you see it for a whole week. I don't know. I mean, I think it will go, I don't think it will ever go below 17,000, but I do think it's going to crash. I mean, it, so like, here's the deal with crypto. So many things go into crypto that it, it's very hard to know, but ultimately it will crash. It's just a matter of when. Um, I, 
I feel like this isn't financial advice, but I feel like we're kind of at the possibly the height. If if we're not the height yet, I can't foresee it going past seventy thousand without a major crash. So like I think there's a dog outside. So like a major crash, like one that is uh, heart wrenching to people that own Bitcoin, like you know a lot of bitcoins. So maybe like you know thirty below thirty thousand in the next six months. But that's just my guess. Who really knows? I think Ethereum though is highly undervalued. Before I go, if you're still watching this, comment down below, and I'm using a random word generator, so let me just see what it is. Comment down below, meadow. I don't know if you can see that, but meadow, I guess like a meadow, is that what it is? Meadow, N-E-A-D-O. Comment that down below. Do you like meadows? Uh, I, I mean, I can't really think of any time I've been to a meadow, maybe once or twice I went to uh, my friend's house who has like a, I don't know if it's a meadow, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm saying the word so much, I don't even, it sounds weird. Okay, I'm gonna go, bye. Well everyone, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm outside, I wanna show you uh, what it looks like. It's very pretty, at least to me. There's a plane, maybe you can see it. Oh, I don't know if I'm pointing at it. I don't even know if you can see it. But uh, this is Indy. As you've seen, uh, there's no snow over there now. So I hope you all have a good Friday. If no one's told you this today, or I, I hope you're all having a good Thursday. Hope you have a good Friday tomorrow. If no one's told you this today, you are loved. And this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.